Hey there, Julian, and hey there, YouTube. Uh, Julian, I really like your uh, channel. It's pretty cool. Teaches, I don't know, I guess everybody a lot about little bits and bobs and showing what you find and eBay and stuff. It's really cool. So, and everybody else, check out his channel. He's really cool. Um, but this today is a video showing off this um, uh, power saw mower battery that I got from reciprocating saw. Julian, you just did your video for the uh, um, lawnmower, the lithium ion lawnmower. So, got me thinking about this again. But yeah, I found one of these in the garbage. <laughs> And complete complete set the reciprocating saw the charger and the battery but the battery was dead and I have really no need for that thing um, but kept the charger kept the battery um, but yeah here's the battery box here and you notice it says bad because well it was bad the you would put it on the charger it would charge for a little while and then it would just blink all three lights I don't have the charger and I can't find the protection circuitry so don't know where I put that in my room but yeah I found well these cells in it these are pretty awesome these are 26650 size Compare them to standard 18650. They're quite a bit bigger. So yeah. Um, these are in fact, well, let's turn that around. Focus, there you go. These are A123. FS3001. No. 3001 001. Um, I believe those are like the product dimensions, which could have just said 26650. Um, but yeah, if you look on the data sheet for these, that's where it says there. The physical dimensions. But yeah. These are A and R twenty six six fifty ML cells. I'm pretty sure. With a pretty impressive specs. Two point three amp hour, three point three volt. You'll notice that's much lower than your normal typical lithium ion because these are actually LFE cells or lithium ferrophosphate which are basically just lithium iron cells what LFE means so 8 milliohm internal resistance um, let's see char charge rates continuous discharge of 70 amps pulse discharge of 120 amps for 10 seconds and then a cycle life of a thousand cycles at a hundred percent depth of discharge you'll wonder how the heck is that possible well lithium iron is not your typical um, lithium ion uh, cell because you can discharge them all the way to zero volts and not do that much harm to them because that's just how this chemistry is but normally typically you would want to discharge them down to about two volts there that's your normal safe level but you can discharge them all the way down. 
Um, let's see. So yeah, load temperature discharge performance capacity. So it seems like 25 degrees Celsius you get the most capacity from them. Marked by this red line here at 25 degrees Celsius. If you get any colder you only get about 90 percent. That's interesting. But discharge characteristics capacity and amp hours at different currents that's pretty good and then cycle life performance at what 25 degrees Celsius it's 95 percent after a thousand cycles and then 60 degrees oh that's 25 degrees, 2.3 amp charge, 2.3 amp discharge, so 1C charge and discharge, and then 60C, 60 degrees, 3 amp charge, 5 amp discharge, gets you to about 86% after a thousand cycles. Crazy. Fortunately, that's all that has to say about them. But yeah, I was wondering what the heck I should use these for because they're really awesome and I tested them let me go to my battery logs and yeah all about uh, 1700 to 1800 well 1750 to 1850 oh, there's one on 1714 but yeah, they're really good. Um, so yeah, I was wondering what I should do with them. Oh, I did not kill you yet. But the reason why this is bad is because one of these cells, this guy right here, is um, cracked because they're meant for really light um, they're the casing is aluminum and this is actually the positive side if you look the outer shell is the positive side so they're wired backwards or built backwards but yeah on this one over here it must have fallen from a tree or something or from the ladder on the tree at, up to the tree but yeah it got a little crack don't know if you can see that focus yeah that little opening there um, unfortunately so but I have three cells here. That's the dead one. Three cells here, and then these three. So I can maybe do um, three. Oh, three, three. Put these in parallel, kind of and then maybe have either a 2S or and 1S packs so I guess I don't necessarily have that much use for them because a lot of the stuff are either too small or too big I am planning on doing a um, DC UPS which I've talked about in my SGL 8022W video um, where I'm going to have the um, what you call it the 12 volts being distributed to my um, 
switch gear and then have a diode from that from the output a double diode so 12 volt voltage the output and then battery voltage so that those two point to the center and then the middle voltage will go out to the switch gear so yeah maybe I can do a 3 amp hour 3S 2P with these now provided I do have um, a ton more batteries I have an entire bin full of them because at my work I get the old laptop batteries that are dead which are still pretty good um, so yeah I don't know whether I should do that or not use these for that or use them for something else but yeah so take care Julian and take care everybody else like I said Julian your channel is awesome and keep it up see ya